My next guest, you know, from his multiple comedy specials on Comedy Central, uh, he's got a new album out that is an uh, animated thing I want to talk to him about. Please welcome my friend Kyle Kinane. Kyle, do we have you? What's up, buddy? Thank you for being here. Um, well, not here anymore. We used to be neighbors, and then you just moved to uh, Portland. Yeah, right? you saw me posted up in front of the U-Haul the other day. Yeah. I was, I, 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 they don't like Californians up here, so I brought, I brought a lot of flannel. I brought an axe. Just trying I just to fit kept, in with I Portland. I kept my face. Yeah, I was going to wear it, and then I was wearing it for like a half hour, and I lost enthusiasm for the bit. It is weird. I, I, what are you telling people? Because neighbors are asked, like, what do you do? And it's weird to be like, I'm a comedian. I moved from the entertainment capital to here. I don't ever tell anybody I'm a comedian. What do you say? I never, I never want people to know that because then they're, then the expectations on. I just want to be like, hey, that guy's pretty fun. And then because yeah. if they, people know you're a comedian and you're not fun, they're like, this guy sucks. That guy with the super pack is really fun. Yeah, I don't, I'm just kind of the guy like I'm just watering the lawn up here. They, nobody knows anything about me. I've met the neighbors. The, the mailman's already seen me nude once. That was a mishap. How's that happen? Well, I'm not used to living on the ground floor. You know, you live in an apartment, you're on the second floor. And that's just nudity all the time on the second floor because nobody's looking, nobody cares. That's too much. Vantage point. Here, I'm on the first floor, forgetting and living my life regular. And I thought I was the, the laundry's in the garage and there's windows on a garage door. I haven't seen that ever. That's not city life. Windows on a garage door? Get out of here. Right. Well, that's Portland where everyone like has a roommate that lives in the garage. Yeah. Well, I was taking off all my clothes to put them in the wash in the garage. You know, you're doing your laundry and then you get to that point like, well, I, what if all my clothes are clean at once? Oh, yeah. I've been tempted to do that. But the the uh, it's on the third floor. So I have to like walk down shirtless. I don't want to be that guy in the building. But that I, is a good thought. Now I'm in a, a house and I can finally achieve that every single piece of clothing clean at the same time feeling. So I, I disrobe. Yeah. Dunk the clothes. I think I figured I got three seconds window just to dunk the clothes, get back in the house. That's the same amount of time that the mailman is walking up the driveway. And I just, he just, I looked at him and he wearing, he was wearing like some Oakley blades. So I'm sure his um, eyes yeah. saw it, but I couldn't judge yeah. it. He kept a, a straight enough look, but, um, that was like the first week we were here, so I don't know. You got walked in by the cool mailman who got into his lifted mail truck. Rolling coal out of the van. Did it take you a lot for you to move? I mean, First off, we didn't hire movers, and I don't know why. I could I could have afforded that. I just, I, like, we'll do it ourselves, you know? Well. Stupidest thing I've ever done in my life. You pack, you pack so much stuff that you think you're going to need, and then after you transport it uh, thousands of miles... And you're like, oh, I never, I never needed this. I didn't, I didn't need a, I didn't need this VHS uh, collection of happy days. I have a no less than 200 different half full hotel moisturizers. The cheapest moisturizer. It's always lemon scented. Do you want to smell like lemon? Smell like lemon and just be slick for a good part of your day. <laughs> yeah. I have so I, many of those. I think it's just white motor oil. There's no way it never absorbs your skin. Your skin's like, I don't want that. All the antibodies in your body are like, this shouldn't be in me. This, why does this keep staining my shirts? This can't be good for my skin. <laughs> this is why eating I, away at fabric. If someone just has a lighter in the room, I instantly <laughs> burst into flames. You smother cotton balls with those for, to start campfires when you go in camping. It's good. Yeah. I have uh, three different lip balms just on my desk, all packed. These this were all great. packed. Unnecessary. I got, I'm, I'm ready. I got, like I said, you I got, get a gun. this is the first time. Yeah. Did you get a gun? Cause this is the first time I've thought yeah. like, I totally am against gun control. Absolutely. This should be a, a check, but this is the first time where it feels like a good purchase. It feels like a yeah. good idea. Yeah. I bought a gun. You know, I bought a gun because you ever look at the people in line at the gun store, they're getting guns. That's why I got a gun. <laughs> yeah. This muffin top creep in a Punisher t-shirt is going to be armed. And I, I'll lose. I'm going to lose the Civil War, but at least I want to lose with some effort, you know. It would make me feel more comfortable if the guys buying guns were a little more in shape because they would at least try to do the fist fight before. But this, yeah. like, the line is like, well, that guy's going to go immediately for the gun so he doesn't have to do stairs. 
<laughs> yeah, you're just Indiana Jones with the guy with the scimitar in the marketplace. Like he's gonna oh, you just it. shoot this guy. Like, well, come on, man. How about a little fair fight? It starts with a roast battle. I mean, that's yeah. what we can bring to the table. It should be a roast battle. You should be able to take it, and there should be some sort of physical agility test that you should take to be like you could let's try to throw one punch at least before you go to the gun. Throwing stars. That's a, that's a nice. Idea. But you are right in that is the it's the people that are buying guns that it's like. Well, then we want one. We're not going to be uh, like I have a sign. I'm going to shame you online. Like that doesn't win. There are going to be like so like in the next eighteen months. I'm sure there's going to be so many like different. I don't know, like improvisers and TV writers with accidental bullet wounds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote on Caroline in the city and now I have a small militia <laughs> operating out of Burbank. Oh my God. That, that went right through my air force one. I can't believe it. I got right <laughs> through my new, new balances. It's a weird time. Now you think, you think it would be easy to choose a side because one of the sides has Nazis. Remember yeah. those, those are back. You'd think you'd be like, well, even if they got other stuff, that's like meat. The Nazi thing kind of cancels out. Like, wow, but free ice cream every other Tuesday. Hold right. on, I love ice cream. Wait a right. minute. Oh, you guys have Nazis? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Even if they check every box, Nazis is still on. They're like, I got to go to the other guy. It's, it's the cartoon version. It's the first question on who wants to be a millionaire. Like, that's the obvious <laughs> joke answer is the, not yeah. the one with Nazis. I already look like I'm in some sort of bunker, like I'm just peering out the blinds. Yeah. They're, they're coming, man. <laughs> it's the mailman. There's no way he shouldn't have shown up that time. He's in on it. Well, that's what's funny about the mailman is then he came back the next day and I was out watering the lawn and I had like a joke 70s outfit from a party, but I had very limited clothing up here when we were living here over the summer. So I was just in cut off jean shorts and like a, a red mesh tank top and I just look like Philip Seymour Hoffman's character from Boogie Nights and I'm out there yeah. watering the lawn <laughs> and he comes rolling up and like all right now I look like I'm just trying to court this fella like oh right like the housewife that's like oh whoops you caught me mm -hmm. hey there postman mm. nice kiddies uh, what was the idea behind Portland because of all the cities I mean a lot of people make the move to Austin not many people are going from LA, which is not doing great right now, to Portland, which is at least media wise not going great. Oh, I mean, we're in the burbs, so and I like the burbs. I grew up in the burbs, and when you grow up in the burbs, you feel like you're trapped and like nothing good ever came out of there. But then I left and I lived my life, and now I'm back in the burbs. And I'm like, oh, I dig this place. People respect the four way stop sign, there's good grocery stores. I got a grocery store with a solid hot bar. How do you feel about yeah, the hot bar, Moses? I feel great until they start like, we have orange chicken. And like, I don't think Vons knows what they're doing with orange chicken. I Really? I would think anybody can do orange chicken. I, I would I would question them when they're like, I would question Vons when they're like, this is goat cheese. Like, you just found that cheese. You have yeah, no that's, just, goat cheese. <laughs> that's just bad mozzarella. But never once have I eaten orange chicken and ever gotten a hint of what I thought was chicken in it. Oh, yeah, right? Because it's all... Yeah, it's all it's the batter. Just, it's just candy. It's it's like movie candy made out of poultry. And I'm not that's not a complaint. That's not, a, not complaint. a complaint. Do you think it's gonna change your point of view at all? Because a lot of stand-up, I mean, you're always on the edge. You're not living in great circumstances. Your life is always on the road. Do you think it's and then now you're in the suburbs? I don't know. I just maybe I need to let that go, but there is a thing of like if I'm too comfortable, I can't do this outdated medium that doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> What's the angle, man? Oh, right? it's just some bum in the burbs now. Right. What know. are you going to talk about on podcast, Kyle? Yeah, but what do I, what am I going to do? Be the 50-year-old who's still just amped up and like, oh, man, let me tell you, in the gristle, hustle, bustle, like, why? I, I, I can talk about a fire pit that I got in the yard. If I can't make a joke about the fire pit and the stray cat that I hang out with, then, then I'm not a good comic. If you're a good comic, you can you can talk about whatever situation. I love grocery stores. I've written jokes about grocery stores. I'll continue to be your number one grocery store humorist on stage. Hey, you ever see a TV dinner just abandoned in the beer aisle? <laughs> That's me. Can I go back to be, I am impressed at how long it took Sona to describe just what a cocktail was. It's like, well, you take alcohol, yeah, you take but then you put it in a thing that's not alcohol. 
Like you like yeah. take like it's two different drinks, but one's alcohol, one, but then you mix them together, and then that's like a different drink. I'm like, that's the. Do you think I waited the appropriate time to slam dunk? Because I was like, maybe this is going somewhere. Maybe this is a twist besides orange juice. <laughs> Sona, wait till you meet a bartender. They are going to seem Let's like just an call astronaut that drink. to you. <laughs> I, what would we call that? Let's just call that mix a uh, screwdriver. I don't know. <laughs> How'd you come up with that name? I pulled it out of my ass. I don't know. Yeah, it took everything in me to not be like, oh, uh, actually, <laughs> thank you for coming on the show, but that exists. I, I I adored the innocence of it. You're going to have some interesting stories to follow. Yeah. So this year you put out an animated album, uh, Trampoline in a Ditch, where, if I'm not wrong, essentially visual artists were able to take your jokes, or at least a segment of your album, and do whatever they wanted with it without you really meddling in it. Yeah, I kind of, yeah, it just turned out great, and I just told them to run with it because, like, that's their... I'm not going to direct them on how to animate something. They're the animators. Go crazy with it. And it turned out better than I could expect. Do you have anything like what Sona and I were talking about where sometimes if people animate, you're like, okay, well, gut actually doesn't look like that. But was there any notes like that or you just couldn't? No, because I mean, well, they were like, it wasn't user submitted. They were professional artists. So I kind of was, you know, relied on the professionalism. But just doing stuff online with an active count, like doing zoom shows with active commentary. It's the same kind of thing where like, Oh, I'm trying to do jokes. And then people get to comment on the screen while you're telling your jokes and they'll just say something like, uh, does he have a big head or just really tiny arms? And then you just lay awake at night thinking like, ah, both. I don't know. Yeah. I haven't even thought that far, but okay. That was what I got when you're talking about people commenting or, or drawing you in a certain way. People will heckle through the comment section and you can't do anything about it. There's no, get this guy out of here. It's like, nope, it's just a one sentence. that's going to live with me till the end of days. I'll read that and think about that. Actually can't kick him out. Actually him commenting, whatever main thing actually helps us. Yeah. I guess now I have to do pull-ups. Yeah. But yeah. It is a weird thing where it is shifting, where, it feels really outdated even next week, the date I'm doing. I'm like, we kind of moved past this. Like, just a guy talking. Yeah, so I'm thinking, give, give, him a, give him a cartoon. Give the folks a cartoon. Well, give him a little cartoon to watch. You don't need to see me meander around the what stage. Are you, another guy that looks like this? Telling you how he thinks the world works? Oh, good. Oh, but it's different because he's got a red curtain behind him and some purple <laughs> light and some smoke. The smoke is nice. It just makes everyone look better, you know? And it's a great foresight into the future. We'll all be performing in smoke. You put effort into your backdrop. I should have, I'm moving, so that's my excuse. Yeah. You talk to me in six months and it still looks that. You'll like this, you'll know that I'm uh, depressed. Do you have big plans for this room? Is it, This is the Zoom room. This is Kyle TV. It's Kyle TV is going down in here, man. I think start with the smoke machine. Worry about the lights later, but just get as much. <laughs> smoke in that room it just, it just looks like a hazard that's all it looks like like all right well i can i can do about five minutes tonight but i can't do 10 otherwise this Kyle, oh God. every zoom show every every appearance and we want you to you know plug plug manscape it's just your room is covered in your house oh guys these forest fires are uh I mean, they said we had to evacuate. I'm like, I got this spot on hot tub tonight first. So and after that, then we'll get to find the cat and get load up the car. I was thinking a little high from the smoke just because there's no oxygen. <laughs> I'm like, just firemen coming in. Ah, hold on, I didn't get to my closer. <laughs> I'm thinking about how handshakes are over, guys. No one's going to be shaking hands anymore. People cyberbullying you while you asphyxiate. Look at his huge head I being can't wait. saved. <laughs> well, I hope to see in Portland. I mean, if I'm still alive and you're still alive, you should come out to the show. Hell yeah, man. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll do a little feature set. I'd love to get buried by someone that features. I'll me. take this axe and hack my way through Southeast Portland to get to the club. Yeah, man, this is great. This is a lot of fun. I think uh, you should come back. This is exactly what I wanted to have you on. But next time with more smoke. More smoke and me remembering that it was happening. Right? So I don't get high in the garage first. <laughs> get high. What if everything I own was washed at once? <laughs> oh, like parts in the dryer? That's how it happens. And then I was going to take a shower and every facet of my life would be clean. It all solves it. All right, Kyle Kinane, thank you so much animated album like the sections of it is called um it's it's trampoline in a ditch right there's the full album and then there's some animated stuff around there 
Thanks, Kyle. It was great talking to you, man. Thanks, buddy.